Are you ready? Time is reset for 30 seconds work, 10 seconds rest. Work. I'm using a 12 pound medicine ball. You can use what's appropriate for you. Now the medicine ball adds an element of instability. So this is a really great core workout because you have to engage those abs to maintain balance. When you go down into that burpee push up, are you in a straight body line? When you're doing the squat, is the weight going through your heels and are you going as low to the ground as possible? Because that's what builds beautiful glutes. Rest. Okay, we've got 10 seconds. That gives you just enough time to get ready for the next exercise. Work. Alternating toe taps on the medicine ball this is a great way to get cardio into your workout. Now, really increase that intensity. You can go as fast as you can, and you can even do what I'm doing. I grabbed a pair of three pound dumbbells and started including bicep curls at the same time. So you've probably noticed the hard part of this exercise is keeping the ball in place. So to prevent the ball from rolling all over the floor, engage your core, look down at the ball, and use some pretty fancy footwork to keep it in place. All right, you've got 10 seconds. Get ready, because we're going to go right into rolling ball push-ups. So put one hand on the medicine ball, lower yourself into a push-up, get your chest as close to the floor as possible. Hopefully there's not a cat underneath of you. Then you're going to press right back up. Keep yourself in a straight body line. Are your abs engaged? Because if they are engaged, then your body isn't going to be swaying from side to side as you roll the ball back and forth. That means keep your core tight so that you can keep your hips as square as possible. Okay, get back up. We're going to be doing more of the alternating toe taps. Okay, right about now your breathing should be pretty huffy. Uh, I'm pretty huffy as you can hear in the video. And you know what? You better be huffy because that's the whole trade-off. If you're only going to work out for 15 to 20 minutes, then you better be moving as fast as you can and lifting as heavy as you can and giving it 110%. If you're looking a little bit too happy when you're working out, then you're not doing it right. You've got 10 seconds. If you need to, you can grab a quick drink. Get ready, because we're going to do some boats with a twist. So get into the V-sit position, and you're going to lean back about 45 degrees, and you're going to keep your back straight the entire time. Now, those feet must stay up off the floor, and you're really going to engage your core so that when you twist from side to side and tap that medicine ball on the floor on each side, your body doesn't sway around violently. So core tight, back straight. All right, 10 seconds, and we're back to our weighted toe taps. Yes, this is starting to get really tiring, but you know what? You're going to keep going. You do not stop. Are you moving your legs as fast as you can? Can you move them faster? Because guess what? I know you can, and you're going to start doing it now because that's when physique changes start to happen. When you actually start to push beyond your limits, that's when all of this starts to work. So do not stop. Only two seconds left. Awesome, you did it. So we have 10 seconds to rest, and then we're going to be starting the side lunges. Side lunges are an awesome exercise because they're working your quads, your inner and outer thighs, your glutes, your calves, and it's even helping you with your flexibility. Plus, we're doing the overhead press, so you're also getting bonus shoulders. Could this be any more efficient? Don't forget to keep your weight in your heels when you're doing the lunging. And you only have five seconds left. Keep going. Don't forget to breathe. And you did it. Rest. So we've got 10 seconds. You can grab a quick drink before we do the medicine ball toe taps. All right, we got 30 seconds of these, so give it 110%. Move those feet as fast as you can. Now, remember, 
This is really great that you're exercising, but diet is really an important part of this equation. So you can go on to my website, drsarahsolomon.com, and you can get all of my free recipes, and you can also learn about my intermittent fasting dietary protocol. Two seconds, and we did it. Awesome, great job. So we've got 10 seconds before we repeat this entire program. We're gonna repeat it two more times. So just replay the video again. Now, I've got my branch chain amino acids from bodybuilding.com. You can click onto my website for more information about that and the entire workout. That's drsarahsolomon.com.